Welcome to Pieces of the Past. My name is Deborah. I have a passion for fiber arts and creating new things from old. Join me on my journey as I explore the endless possibilities, the tools, and the techniques to create new pieces of the past. Thanks for joining me again on my channel. Uh, today's video is about sewing the dreaded curves. Now, I say dreaded because most people that I talk to don't like sewing curves. They hate it, okay? But I think part of it is that maybe they don't understand how to sew them. So I wanted to show you how I sew them and, and generally how to sew curves. And maybe it'll take some of that mystery out of it for you and maybe you'll like sewing curves. I actually love it. They don't bother me a bit. So once you learn how to sew a curve, you can sew it on anything, garments, um, quilts, uh, stuffed animals, you know, you have to make little bear paws, things like that. So you have to sew circles. Um, anytime you need to sew a curve, this is the technique of how to do that, okay? So I was, I got this idea to show you this because I'm, I cut out some, um, some curves to sew together in a circle uh, to make this quilt and and this is part this is the first video of two the second video i'm going to show you how to draft a pattern so that you add the seam allowance and all of that to get your curves correct but for this one i'm just going to show you how to actually put the put the curves together how to how to sew them okay so this is really going to be easy just follow along so to get this i'll show you my pieces so these are all my pieces for this quilt that I cut out. Lots of them, lots of curves, see different colors, the yellow and the blue and so forth. Okay, so for this, we're going to take this first corner piece and one of the, uh, let's choose one of the green pieces. Okay, so the rest of this can go away. Okay, now, when you start to sew curves, if you're using a pattern from somebody or you draft your own even, you will notice first thing that these pieces do not match up. So if you're laying that next to each other, you're like, there is no possible way that's gonna sew properly. Uh, it will. What's happening here is that you've added the seam allowance or your template has added the seam allowance that will go away and then these pieces will sew and look like this when they're sewn together. Now I'll show you that on these rulers. These are commercial rulers that you can buy to sew this particular pattern and this is how they look. Now here is how they would look when you put them together. See they don't match up. See right here? They don't match up. But if you put the sewing line, which is this black line, on top of this black line, they do match up. So once that is sewn, you end up with this eight inch square, okay? So that's why it may look wonky when you start out sewing them together, uh, but it, it's really, it really will go together correctly if your seam allowances are on there correctly, okay? So in, in the next video, I'll show you how to do that, how to add those seam allowances so that it's more accurate for you. Okay, so we're gonna sew these two curves together. Now, if you look closely, you can see this is an outer curve and this is an inner curve, all right? Now, what you always want to do when you're sewing curves is have the inner curve on the top. So in this case, I would flip this over this way and sew with the green up so I can see what I'm doing, okay? I would not want to sew with the green down, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do, and it depends on how small your circle or your curve is. When you get this large and larger, you really don't have to clip, but I'm gonna show you anyway how to clip this. So I'm gonna take the inner curve, the C, okay? And that probably is upside down for that camera. Let's do it this way. It's a C, okay? So the inside of the C, not the outside of the C, all right? And I'm going to clip this inside the seam allowance of this curve every, I don't know, half inch or so, just a little bit. 
it's going to make it give me some ease to pull this around on the curve. Okay, super easy. I'm just going to clip around. Now, like I said, I don't normally clip this one because it's it doesn't really become necessary until you get smaller, but it's a good practice anyway. Okay, so then we're going to find the middle of each of these curves. So on the C curve, on the green, we're going to put a pin in the center, all right? And then on this one, we're going to find the center of the curve. And I usually just finger press or use my fingernail to press that down like that. And then I'm going to lay this, this pin, the green on top, I'm going to put that pin right over the center mark that I made with that crease and I'm going to pin them together right in that center point. Okay? All right, so now they're pinned together. Now, I want to take my edge of the green and line it up with my edge of the white. Now, do not pay any attention to all this mess going on right here. Okay? You will get to that when you start sewing. Just don't just ignore it. It doesn't exist, okay? You're concentrating on right here at this corner matching that up. Put a pin in that one and do the same thing on the other corner over here. So I'm going to line up this corner, ignoring all this fluffy whatever is going on over here. Just don't even want to look at that. And pin this one. Okay, that's it. You only need three pins. To sew this, lay your white piece or your outer C curve flat on, on your bed of your machine. And Put your hand between the two and match up the edges. Now all you have to do is grab the top one, the green one, and push it out a little bit and match up these edges from this first pin to the second pin. Totally ignore from the second pin to the end. You're going to deal with that after you do the first half, okay? So we're going to start right here where they come together at this first pin, quarter inch seam allowance. All right, and we're going to sew right along the quarter inch. With your hand between the layers, you can adjust. So you kind of want to push this in. When you're putting the top one on, so in this case, it would be the green one. I like to think of it as a hand that reaches out. So the hand's like this, and it opens up, and that's where your little clips are, okay? So my green is reaching out to hit that curve of the white, and I'm grabbing hold of it. You can see it's just laying out just nice and, and flat. I'm going to sew a little bit here. Okay, quarter inch. All right. Sew a little bit and readjust. Always make sure your bottom piece is laying flat. Okay, and you're just going to sew right around this curve just like this. And you're always adjusting this excess out here with your top band, with your left hand in this case. Well, I guess it would be in all cases, even if you are left-handed. So you're just going to keep going around. Now when you get to the middle pin, take it out, and then ignore what's up that you just sewn, and sew this part down here. So make sure it's laying flat. Push out the top edge, the green, and go around. Just like that. Now, in this case, I'm getting a little bit of a ripple here, so I want to just lift my presser foot and kind of adjust that excess out of the way. Like that. There we go. Pull that last pin out, and we're done. So then, you lay it out. Ta-da! You have your curved piece. Now for this pattern, my next piece would be another curve here with this outer piece. Again, you can see the curves don't match up until 
I would sew them together like that. The curve that I'm going to clip with my, with my scissors on this one is this inner C curve, not the outer curve. Clip the inner curve, okay? And then when you press, you, you want to press outwards towards, towards the curve that's clipped, all right? So in this case, I would be pressing this out towards the green. And then in the next one, I would be pressing the green out towards the white, like this, all right? So you always want to press away from the curve. Not, you don't want to press like this, because then you're bunching up the white fabric underneath there, and you're going to have bumps and stuff. So you want to press outwards like that. So in this case, it would be towards the outer, the outer curve like that. So there you go. That's how you sew curves. That's how you put sleeves and garments. And uh, you, if you're not able to do, or, or if you, if you don't want to try this, you're you're ruling out a lot of patterns that uh, that you might find entertaining, like uh, Drunkard's Path or double wedding ring, those those quilt patterns that require sewing curves. There's just no getting around it. Uh, clamshells, again, you, you need to know how to sew the curve to do that. I hope that this explanation helped. Um, just remember, always put the inner curve on the top, always. And your outer curve should be flat on, your, on the bed of your machine, okay? So, Next video, we're going to go over how to draft this pattern and get your quarter inch seam allowances so that you can sew any curve you want. You can put a curve up here, anywhere. You can do whatever you like. So I will see you in the next video. I uh, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, we're trying to get those numbers up for the YouTube <laughs> algorithms and so forth and do comment last but not least do comment because i love to respond to you on comments and get that conversation going if you have any questions let me know in the comments and until the next video see you later thanks